finding the height of the tree using the length of the shadow. Now this is a person, the, this is the shadow of a person, and this is a tree, and this is the shadow of the tree. And we want to find using these two shadows and the height of the person uh, to find the height of the tree. <coughs> so what do we want to find? What are the facts that we know? So we want to find the height of the tree. That's what we want to do. Height of tree is what we want to find. Say that is x. We're going to name that as x. Now the height of this person, <coughs> height of the person is say 1.5 meters. These are the facts that we know. And the shadow of the tree. Suppose, let's say the shadow of tree is say uh, 30 meters. Okay, I'm just making up numbers. Suppose this is 30 meters. And the shadow, the length of the shadow, I mean. I hope you understand what I mean. The shadow length. So let me write shadow length of tree. And the shadow length of the person. Shadow length of the person is, say, uh, uh, four meters. Okay, so the length of the shadow of this person is four meters. These are the facts that we know. Okay, so can we find the height of the tree using this information? Okay, now, now let us assume that these shadows were taken at the same time. The shadow of the tree and the shadow of the person was taken at the same time. So now this can be uh, to uh, let me show you how to. So let me draw. Uh, let me use right angle. So we can draw two right angle triangles. So this is say, this is the tree, and this is the shadow of the tree. So let me write here. This is the tree. This is the tree, and this is the shadow of the tree. Shadow of tree. Okay, and the sun is here. The sun is shining here, so the shadow will come to the right. Okay, and this is the person. This is the person standing at the same place. Say this is the person, and this is the shadow. Okay, so this is the person, whoever that person is, and this is the shadow of the person. Shadow of the person. So what can we say? So we can say that these two are right angles. These two are right angles. Now if I join these two points and join these two points, you're getting two similar right angle triangles. So this is a right angle triangle. And this is also a right angle triangle. So this is say this is again the sun here, the sun is here, and this is the shadow. Okay, so here one thing that you should understand is these two triangles are similar triangles. Okay, so that means this angle is equal to this angle, and this angle is equal to this angle. So these two are similar triangles, so let us name the triangle. So this is triangle ABC, and say this is triangle DEF. Okay, so now we need to write what information we have. We know the height of the tree is x. So we want to find that. And the length of the shadow, uh, shadow length of the tree is 30 meters. So this is 30 meters. The person's length is 1.5 meters. The person's length is 1.5 meters. And the shadow length of the person is 4 meters. So now, first thing that we from the after drawing these two triangles we can say triangle ABC is similar this is a notation for similar for triangle DEF so if two triangles are similar their sides are proportional so this implies the sides are proportional sides are proportional now if sides are proportional they will have a scale factor now, what do I mean by this? Now, this side, you can say, 
na EF, EF, length of EF corresponds to BC, corresponds to BC. So let's find the scale factor. Now scale factor is a ratio between the uh, corresponding sides. So let me write the scale factor. Scale factor uh, is uses a letter K generally. So scale factor K is the ratio of this to this or this to this. So this is 30 over 4. So the scale factor is 30 over 4, which is 15 over I'm halving both of them. So this is 7.5. So what does this number mean? This means that 30, this side, is 7.5 times of EF. So this means, this number, this means, BC is 7.5 times of EF. Of EF. So let me show you that on a calculator. That means if you multiply BC, EF by 7.5, you will get BC. So this means, or this means, this implies, you multiply EF, whatever that measure is, times it by 7.5, that would give you BC. So this is the meaning of scale factor. So let's do that. So menu run. So 7, sorry, 4 times 7.5, which is 30. So now you have to use your proportional reasoning. If this side, if BC is 7.5 times of EF, AB would be 7.5 times of DE. Okay, so this means, so let me do this here so that you can see the figure. So what does this mean? This means, so this implies, we can say AB, which is the height of the, you can say X, instead of saying AB, you can also say X, is DE times 7.5, because it has the same proportion. So that is 1.5 times 7.5. 1.5 times 7.5. So let me get my calculator. So it's 1.5 times 7.5, which is 11.25 meters. So you can see the height of the tree is 11.25 meters using similar triangles. So we have used similar triangles. So let me go over this again. So once, if you want to find the length of anything using shadow length, you need to know the shadow length of two of the two things that you, of the person and the thing that you want to find. You need to find the, you need to know the height of the person. And then you're going to make similar triangles because the shadow that it makes is the length of the shadow would be similar to the length, uh, sorry, the shadow length of the tree would be equal to the shadow length of the person. And you're getting, you're going to get two similar triangles. Okay, similar triangle means uh, two triangles with the same angle, the corresponding angles are equal. And then you need to find the scale factor by dividing one with by the other. So generally, as a rule of a thumb, I like to write the bigger side divided by the smaller side. That will give you a scale factor. So that is, this means BC is 7.5 times of EF. So logically, AB should be 7.5 times of DE.